What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be showing you how to get unlimited trainer XP uh, tokens, right? Now, this takes a little bit of time, there's a bit of grinding in it and obviously it depends on how much GP you're going to be able to accumulate, right? Based on how much you're playing the game, how many objectives you can clear, how many, like there's a lot of different factors with it, right? But essentially, GP is pretty much useless in this game apart from doing stuff like this or signing regular players. So as you can see there, I've got 4 million GP, right? That's been accumulated over time. Login bonuses, doing all the events, getting the free players and releasing them and all that sort of stuff. That's what kind of goes into this, right? But I'm going to show you a really quick method here of how to get unlimited trainer XP. And in the second part of this video, we're going to show you how to get unlimited contract renewals and a little trick that I like to do, right? So the first thing that we're going to show you here is... Usually on my live stream, I always get asked by people, how do you have so many trainer XP, right? And I'm going to show you what I mean here. So when you get a new player, you have to train them up. I literally have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of trainer XP, right? This is from playing the game, and it's from showing you this method that I'm about to show you here now. The 10,000 GP ones are the XP ones are the big ones, right? So you can see here that with like three or four of them, we're going to pretty much max out the new Simmons, um, who's going to be a beast for us, right, if we're deciding to play him. How do you get so many XP, Right. Well, it's very easy, actually, and as I said, it does depend on the GP, which you can grind, and, you know, unlimited amount of it, you can just keep keep playing the events every week, every Monday and Thursday, right? So what we're going to do is, we're going to go over here to contract, I'll keep this short and sweet, there's no messing with this video, and what we're going to do is, we're going to go to standard player list, and we're going to go searching through the filters, we're going to go to player value, we're going to go to five star player, and then we're going to go to done. Then we're going to... Uh, we're going to sort this, right, go into sort, and we're going to sort it by the cheapest five-star, right? So there's the most expensive five-star player, right? This is the cheapest. So it's going to be Balde or Simmons, right? So for the, for the purposes of this one, we're actually going to use Balde here, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to go in here and sign Balde for 96,000, and we're going to sign maybe 10 of him, right? Now, you can sign as many or as little as you want, depending on your GP, but your main role here... Uh, is to get as many XP's as possible, as many trainer XP's as possible, so that you're able to train your players, right? Essentially what you're going to be doing is, right, is you're going to be using your GP and converting it into trainer XP. That's what you're going to be doing by using the in-game um, conversion of, you know, they give you XP when you release a player, right? So I'm going to show you here just how much you actually do get when we get 10 players or so, right? So when we keep signing these players, there's no limit on how many you can sign, only how many players you have in your squad. I think 500 is the limit and you can buy more. Um, but you can keep signing these players as many as you want. Now, I would say that the best method of doing it, um, I would say just to kind of get the most bang for your buck is to buy five star players. There is a couple of variations that you can do with some four stars that give you the, the same kind of price, but literally for the, it's not worth, it's so neg uh, it's so marginal, um, a negligible, is that the word, negligible? Negligible? Neg neg negligible? Yeah, I can't pronounce that word. Anyway, um, there's, there's, there's such little in it that it's probably not really worth doing this, right? So we're going to just show you here that we've pretty much signed, I think, around 10 there now. I'll just sign one more there uh, just to make double sure. I think this is the 10th one. I was trying to count while I was still commentating here or doing the, the vid. Um, but what happens is when we go back now, right, we're going to go back to our actual team, right? We've signed all the players there. We've spent all our GP. We're going to go back to team. We're going to go in here. You can see all these players that will contract. We'll cover that in the next episode where we talk about actual... Uh, We'll talk about contract renewals and all that. But when we go back here to sort, uh, we are literally just going to sort by order of signing. And there's all our new players. So as you see there, we signed 10 versions of Alejandro Balde, right? Now we're just going to go into selection view. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're going to release them, right? So when we release these, we're actually going to get 46,000 GP back. But we're going to get 10, 10,000 trainer programs. So we release him. We get our 10,000 trainer programs there, and then we can use them 10,000 trainer programs within our club whenever we want to train up a player. So that is how you get unlimited. It's only tied by, like as you see there, it's only tied, there's our 10 there and there's our Simmons there, right? So essentially that is what you can do. It's only tied by how much GP that you have, right? And you can keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. Different players have different values when you release them. So for example, if I was to release, and we'll cover this in the next video, if I was to release somebody like, let me see, 
um, Lewandowski, right? If I was to release Lewandowski here, and I was to release him who's out with contract, he's going to give me, not only is he going to give me 110,000 GP for one player, he's also going to give me a 10,000 XP trainer program because he's a five star and a contract renewal, right? So we will show you that in the next video. On top of that, if you release a four star um, player, right? If you release a four star or a three star player, they're going to give you less. So this guy, Danny Alves, is only going to give me 1,000 trainer programs, right? So it depends on the rating of the player. That's why I would always max it out with a five-star player, right? Here's a three or four-star player. Again, he's only going to give you 4,000 trainer XP. So with a five-star player, they usually give you a, a 10,000 one, which is definitely worth your bang for your buck, right? So that is it, lads. Very, very quick. And as I said, you can rinse and repeat that as often as you possibly can. If ever I've got a spare five, six hundred thousand GP from events or from anything uh, doing it, um, the objectives, you can clear all these objectives and you get loads of rewards in these just for simply playing the game. You'll see there we've got another two trainer programs there. And also with the career objectives, we will get GP here just from signing players or playing the game. Like all of these claimed ones. Look, you can you can get all of them as I have. Look at how many GP you have there. Like thousands and thousands of GP. And you can just claim them all, all the time. You get your login bonus as well. You can keep doing that, playing the game, the events. So that is it for me. Next up, we'll be back with the contract renewals. We'll show you that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe, lads.